Hello everyone and welcome to EG Jewel Lapidary. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, polishing jade. Uh, a couple of days ago someone uh, posted a cabochon that was polished but it wasn't polished right and she was asking what to do in order to polish it properly. And uh, so I was uh, looking at the, all the answers and comments below and they were all over the place, uh, left, right and center. So I showed one of my finished polished uh, jade and um, I promised them I'm going to do a, a video to show them how uh, it's polished. And I think it's about time to show that. I had it in mind for quite some time. so. Now I guess the time to do it. So stick around and I'll be back right after this. polishing jade is really simple and same like anything else if you know how it makes it so easy and actually it's easier than a regular cabochon that you cut and polish. The grinding procedures is basically you use uh, 100 uh, or 220 on the grinding wheel. I use the diamond wheel so it goes a lot faster. Then from there I use the silicone carbide uh, expando wheels and there's two reasons for that. I use the expando for any other rocks actually when, I, when I'm working and the reason the expando wheel it has that cushion uh, uh, action that if you have any ridges or uh, hard surfaces uh, or flat surfaces on the cap the only way you can get it out easier is by using the expander wheels and the expander wheel the foam in the back or the rubber is actually form around your cap and take all the high spots out but for jade is I use it for jade because um, that reason and also all I need to do is use the 400 grid and and the 600 grid that's it and then you go polishing so from polishing, uh, I use uh, thin oxide. You could use also chrome, chrome oxide um, on, on a smooth leather, uh, but you got to use it almost dry so you don't make it too wet. Now, the, when, when, you, when I use the, uh, uh, the silicone carbide, the 400 and the 600, uh, the very light stream of water, I don't just brinch it with water, just very light stream of water. And uh, please uh, make sure that you wear your mask because it is very important uh, to have a mask because the last uh, operation, like after I do cutting with the 600, which is light stream of water, I use also the 600, and especially if you get a, a worn, worn uh, silicone carbide, and if you get it worn out, and use it dry so don't use any water and that's where you get your best polish is use it dry. If you use water what happens is you overheat it and, and you get actually the water in it you don't overheat it. What, what I'm saying is when you use your uh, dry without the water uh, you got to be very quick and you don't overheat it. Uh, when you're using water and you're pushing hard it actually create a orange peel on the surface and the orange peel uh, it's called orange peel because it looks like oranges it looks like spots on the surface that doesn't look right and you can't even polish it so uh, let me take you there and I'm going to show you uh, how it how it works I'm going to wearing my I'll be wearing my mask so if I have any um, comment I will add it into the video later on um, and uh, I might have to speed up 
some areas so you don't get bored while I'm cutting. But the idea is back again use uh, 100 to to shape it, 220 on the grinding wheels. And then you go from there and you send it on a 400 and a 600 using the silicone carbide um, expendo wheels. From there you go into polishing. I use uh, tin oxide because I have it available and you use it on a uh, smooth leather surface. So uh, let's go and show you what I'm doing. Okay, here uh, I have my 8 inch grinding wheels and down here I have my uh, expendo wheels. Now the machines here they look a little bit different because I did build them myself so that's why but they do the work. Anyway uh, this here is a black jade that I just sliced this side here I'm gonna uh, grind and polish this area here. This one here it's nephrite jade Green. We're going to also do this one here and then we'll see how that's going to work. So right now I'm going to be doing uh, I'm going to be doing the roughing uh, of this one here and so I gotta put the mask on and I have to start grinding. You may not hear me because of the noise um, and having the mask on which is very important that you need to put your mask on. Okay. Mask and glasses too.
Okay, I think you know now how easy that is and actually it is quick. Uh, so what we did just to recap, um, what I did is uh, using the uh, 100 grid, uh, then I went to the uh, 220 which is the uh, diamond wheels. From there I went to the, uh, uh, using the uh, uh, expander wheels with the silicone carbide. Uh, and then then I use the 400 grid and then the 600 grid. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that I had a little bit of water uh, on the 400 and then when I moved to the 600 I had just a touch, you know, just a drop of water um, to do it. And uh, uh, once I did that then I let the wheel actually all shut, shut off the water, let the wheel dry um, from the water and then I went in and I started polishing. So uh, then after that I went to the uh, polishing wheel which is uh, uh, I used the uh, leather uh, uh, lap and I used some tin oxide in it. From there I went to the uh, ZAM and I used ZAM. Now the trick with ZAM most people like if you're going to push too hard uh, they usually won't get a, a, a nice finish uh, from the ZAM. Uh, just put it in very lightly just go on the wheel and, and you'll see a beautiful polish that uh, comes up. So here I'm going to show you again these two. I probably uh, the I, I think that the lighting I don't know if you can see it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture uh, of this and I'm just going to add it into the, on the video so you'll be able to see it. So I hope you learned something uh, today and uh, if you like it just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to, uh, to subscribe. Uh, now just to let you know I had uh, an old uh, channel on YouTube that it's been a few months right now. I couldn't get to it. I couldn't get in. I couldn't. I don't know what Google did. Uh, I had about uh, over 3,000 uh, subscriber in it, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm not getting paid yet. But uh, as soon as you get to, I believe, 4,000 uh, hours of watch, uh, then you can monetize it and get your money, some money back from. Uh, the advertisement that they put in. Well, I was very close to the 4,000 um, and uh, they needed maximum of 1,000 subscribers but I had over 3,000 subscribers and all of a sudden I just couldn't get in. Uh, it was like login, can't. Google said, well, um, you forget your password, got another password. Now, all of a sudden now I have a, another password that I can't even get uh, into the new one or the old one. So what I did is I I created a new channel. The amount of subscribers is very low and the amount of hours that have been watched is also low. But hopefully I can start building it up from there and that it, it's with your help this is what's going to happen. But the, the funny part is that till today I'm still getting emails from Google telling me that I have new subscribers, uh, I have new comments on the old one. And I go in and I can answer sometimes the people, but as, as, a, as another subscriber. I, so it, it, it's just kind of funny because here I know people are still subscribing and still sending me um, uh, comments. I do answer the comment though, uh, but I can't get into my channel. I cannot do nothing uh, in there. I, I can't even add new videos in there. So in the new channels, what I did is I picked up a lot of uh, the old videos that I had, which thank God I had them. Uh, in my computer, uh, they were sold in, in, in my computer, and I reload them all to the new channel. 
So you're not missing much and, and all the new one that I'm adding, it's going into the new channel. So please, if you know somebody that uh, uh, subscribed to the old one, please let them know that there is a new one that they need to subscribe to, which is this one here. And this one is under Eli Ganime. So Eli Ganime is the new one. The old one is E.G. Jules, which is the um, first and last initial of my name, E.G. and Jules. So that was the old one. So the new one is Eli Ganim. And here is the funny part. If you go in and you type in Eli Ganim, you'll have about, I don't know, about four or six with the same name, which I didn't know that they do exist. But they're there. So make sure you... Uh, you pick the right one, uh, which is, see my picture riding my motorcycle, so you know it's me. So, good luck, and uh, uh, another thought, uh, I have to apologize for my long hair. Uh, with the uh, virus and the uh, pandemic, that uh, coronavirus that we have, uh, we were locked in at home, and uh, couldn't all go and have a haircut. So uh, be safe, be good, and don't forget, give me the thumbs up and comment. If you have, if you have any questions, just comment. Thank you very much for watching.